Shocker today in the world of professional football. Pete Rozelle, commissioner of the National Football League since 1959, announced with no advance warning that he's retiring effective immediately. He said he'll stay on the job until a successor is found. Rozelle said he just wants to enjoy more stress-free time with his family. The Cincinnati Reds lost to the St. Louis Cardinals in exhibition baseball today, but getting a lot more attention than the game was Pete Rose, the embattled manager of the Reds, who could be facing the biggest loss of his career. Peter Van Zandt now with that. No comment. Baseball legend Pete Rose isn't talking about a published report in this week's Sports Illustrated, which claims that he placed bets on baseball games, a violation that, if proven, could result in a lifetime suspension. I don't know what's going on. I don't even read the paper. I can turn my car phone off now. You know, the radio in my car. No, I, don't, I don't even know what's going on. What's being said? What's being said is that Rose used the owner of this restaurant near Cincinnati, a man named Ron Peters, to place bets on baseball games. Alan Stateman is Peter's attorney. I just want to stress that, uh, that Ron Peters plans on uh, cooperating uh, fully with the uh, major league authorities. If Rose did bet on a baseball game, he's gambled with his baseball career and legacy. If he wagered on any baseball team, he could face a year suspension. But if he bet on his own team, the Cincinnati Reds, he could be banished from baseball for life. You know, betting on one's own uh, team or against one's own team, uh, that would be horrendous. I mean, it could cost him his entire career, his reputation, you know, everything. But you know, people are saying, you know, that could cost him a spot in the Hall of Fame. Rose has never denied that he enjoys gambling, but he claims his wagering has always focused on horse and dog racing. They're going to tell me that this man's betting on baseball? They're crazy. They are crazy. Pete Rose was one of the greatest baseball players of all time. In 1985, Rose broke the all-time career base hit record set by the legendary Ty Cobb. Today, there is another published report which says that Rose's gambling debts were so high, he was forced to sell a piece of his own history. That uh, you sold the bat and the ball, which, which was used to break Ty Cobb's record. Is, is that true? No comment. Uh, it's uh, almost gut-wrenching time for me. I feel a pit in my stomach because of all of this, and I feel for Pete Rose. The baseball commissioner is expected to announce Rose's punishment this week, a decision which could force the man called Mr. Baseball out of baseball. Peter Van Sant, CBS News, Plant City, Florida.